Folks, we somehow have an update to this Popeye's chicken sandwich fiasco. So believe it or not, there's a guy suing Popeye's for the chicken sandwich shortage. That's right, he's suing them for running out of sandwiches. How bored do you have to be to sue a fast food chain for not having sandwiches? Like Buddy was sitting there twiddling his thumbs thinking of what to do with his Saturday afternoon. And that's what comes to mind. Now the dude says, countless time wasted driving to and from Popeye's, no chicken sandwich. Now if you know they don't don't have the sandwich why did you keep driving to and from Popeyes buddy would go there not get the sandwich come home go back 30 minutes later and expect the sandwich so I'm gonna go ahead and just show you guys the news clip really quick and trust me the story only gets better and hungry chicken fans around the country left Popeyes restaurants empty-handed this week when the chain sold out of its new sandwiches and a Chattanooga man was so angry about it he's suing Craig Barr filed the lawsuit claiming the restaurant of false advertising and deceptive business practices. He says he drove to several locations which were all out of the chicken sandwich. Barr is suing for $5,000 and he's expected to be in court in late October, so stay tuned. Now here's Merrill. A Hamilton County man is taking legal action against Popeyes after not being able to buy their crispy chicken sandwich. Yeah, this is a real story. Craig Barr says he is suing for $5,000 over, quote, false advertising and deceptive business practices by an entity to the public. Barr claims that he wasted, quote, countless time driving to and from Popeyes only to find there were no sandwiches available. The fast food chain recently announced they were sold out of the crispy chicken sandwich after a back and forth with other fast food restaurants over chicken sandwiches on social media. Now you guys probably think that's the end of the story. No, trust me, this right here is my favorite part of the entire situation. So some Popeyes employee supposedly took some of these sandwiches home and was selling them from his house on Craigslist for $24. So this guy took up on the offer, drove all the way to this dude's house, and the guy took his money and didn't give him the sandwich. This man is so desperate to get his hands on this sandwich, he went to Craigslist and all he got was his money boot ganged. This dude went up, knocked on the dude's door, he answers, gives him a pair of clown shoes, takes the money out of his hand, and sends him on his way. And apparently that's something he thinks he can sue Popeyes for? I don't know how you think you're about to sue Popeyes because some dude boom ganged your money. That's your fault. You're stupid. You went to some sketchy dude's house in hope of a chicken sandwich, and all you got was a spinal contusion, buddy. You're just an idiot. You can't sue them for that. It's obvious this man's just trying to make some quick cash off this. He just wants to get an easy $5,000 and move on with his day. This man's straight up about to be the laughing stock of the courtroom. I don't know. Like I said, man these Popeyes customers are wild first a dude jumps through the drive through window then some girl has like a meltdown in the middle of the restaurant and then this dude is literally suing them for running out of sandwiches anyways that's gonna wrap up today's video hopefully this is the last story about this Popeyes chicken sandwich can we get something new please anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to drop a like and subscribe if you're brand new to the channel you need to follow me on Twitter right now at subdurelex or else you know what I'm just gonna say it. I'm gonna sue you. I'm gonna sue you for $5,000 right now if you don't follow me on Twitter at Subdurelux. Yep, you heard that right. Anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'm out. Don't sue people over sandwiches. You'd be tough on life and not get fucking teeth out yet. Turn 26, feel like a death since it's been the hardest year of my life. Felt like go cool with a dragon ball, trying to find a tree in my mind. Put it in Pro Tools, cause it's so cool to be a rap star when they know you. Till you realize that you don't fuck with yourself.